Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm Amy Landry. I'm the Director of Resource Development for Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity. And we're so thrilled to be here in Amherst today, back again building in Amherst. And uh, very excited to be sharing today um, this celebratory moment when uh, a partner, one of our big partners, has come on board to help us move the foundation along. And as you know, the foundation behind us is a physical foundation, but really what we're building is the foundation for the lives of two families. So without further ado, I'd like to invite our executive director, Megan McDonough, to come up and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a, I, I think there's very many familiar faces here, and I think that that's a testament to Habitat and the community that we build around all of these projects. This is the site for our 38th and 39th home. Since 1989, Habitat has been building homes in the Pioneer Valley in Hampshire and Franklin counties. And we're really excited that we get to build again in Amherst because Amherst, it, between the college community, the town, and our many volunteers, this community has supported our projects tremendously. We are very grateful to the town of Amherst for their donation of the land and the contribution of the Community Preservation Act funds in order to both fund the acquisition of this land and to help us build the duplex. And I, I heard this morning, um, Dave Zomek's gonna get up and speak a in a little bit later about his conversations around the kitchen table with the Hawthorns who used to live in the, in the farmhouse here. And although that form house was torn down because it was no longer in good condition, I think it's wonderful that we're able to build on that footprint and on that history. The, we are also grateful to two particular Amherst residents, uh, seasoned, knowledgeable Habitat veterans, Walt and Charlie, um, who are gonna be leading the construction. And we're already here yesterday insulating this foundation with their, their friends and neighbors. We have uh, begun the process of setting up our family selection for, uh, for this house and it's a pretty involved process because homeowners have to have the ability to pay a housing need and to have the willingness to partner with Habitat for Humanity. So while the end of the selection process is a lottery, the first step is for potential partner families to attend an information session, learn about Habitat, provide us with their financial documentation before we get to the lottery. So we don't have applications available yet, but I am able to announce that applications will be available on Thanksgiving and uh, due by February 1st. So we're able to hopefully give some family something to be thankful about this year. Um, so with that background, I, you know, between the housing committee, the town planning office, many people have, the neighbors have all been supportive of this project. But the other side of bringing a project together in addition to getting the, the physical foundation in is to get the funding together, like Amy was saying. And uh, the leader for that has been Florence Bank. We are very happy to be able to uh, share with you all that how they have been our first major funder for this project, providing financial support that allowed us to move forward with the foundation this fall. So without a further ado, I would like to welcome John Heaps, the president of Forlands Bank, to say a few words. Thank, Thank you, John. You. Thank you, Megan. You know, I think when John Evitz, who's a board member of our bank as well as Habitat, uh, came to us and said, we've got a project in uh, Amherst and we want, uh, I think it would be a good thing for the bank to be part of it. And, um, you know, when you come out here and you meet the people from Habitat and the energy that Amy and, and Megan have and the board, uh, it it really solidifies the whole relationship that, that you guys have to this community and that our part is to be a catalyst to, to begin the foundation. And uh, that's what we're all about. And I think it just feels, it feels good. And just being here, looking, knowing that, that this house will uh, be the home for two families, deserving families. And when you read about and uh, you listen to what, what Megan and her uh, group have been able to do. I mean, 35 families in Hampshire and, and Franklin County. Uh, 21 of those uh, families are single mothers that, ha that ha are now owning homes. And um, we just think it's the right thing to do. 
So we want to be a catalyst for this project. And in addition to that, we've committed to uh, uh, 10,000 in 216 and 10,000 more in 217. So we, we feel this is the right way to go. So, so, so thank you. And uh, we're very pleased to be part of this partnership. And uh, I can't wait to be here. Well, we're going to send a group of people because part of this is volunteerism. So in, in March, when you're, March or April, when you're ready to go, we'll be here. And then I can't wait to be here when uh, we see the two families move in. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to John Evitz, who is going to wear two hats here today. He is well, obviously... John, before you oh. do that, if you want to take this shirt, this can be uh, for when All you right. come back. Huh? All right. When I come back, yes. I got it. <laughs> So with that, I'll turn it over to John. <laughs> I gotta get a t-shirt too, John. <laughs> See now, John, I don't know if you realize, but a lot of the building is done on the weekends, which I know is golf time. So you, you, you want to plan appropriately. The afternoon. Yeah, okay, okay. So um, it's my pleasure to uh, say hi to all. Thanks for coming out. It's a beautiful day. I do have the pleasure of wearing two hats today. I'm on the board of Habitat for Humanity. I'm also on the board of Florence Bank. And so it's a great pleasure to be able to work on both sides of the ledger uh, with respect to this. The Fund the Foundation effort, um, what the bank did to us when uh, Amy and I were working on the development side of things, we reached out to the bank and what we got early, and it made such an important uh, impact for the organization was that they were first in. Uh, we went in with a three-year proposal. They, they reviewed it very quickly. They acknowledged the importance and they made the commitment. And what that then did is it helps put the put the organization, puts Habitat in the position as we go out and talk to other people. People want to not in many cases, they don't necessarily want to be the only one, okay? And so they look and they saw that the bank was there, the bank was in, and it helped actually as the community foundation folks came through. They looked at that, they looked at the commitment of Florence over a, a multi-year period of time, they looked at the track record of what Habitat has been able to produce for years, and then the community foundation then kicked in a, a sizable amount of money to help support this house as well. So that early buy-in, that early, dare I say, that seal of approval that the bank was able to give us uh, has made a significant difference in the funding of this home and so we really appreciate that. Um, the other thing is is that sustained in the multi-year. The, the ability of a multi-year support makes it a lot easier as Amy continues to do her good work in reaching out to different organizations. We once again are able to say well who the people always who's in who's in and in this case we can say well Florence is in Florence is in and so that there you guys are being leaders within the community as, as you are in so many different ways. Um, and then the last point I'll make is that while this home while this building site will impact two families, it's important to realize that the beauty of Habitat, one of the nicest things that I've seen, is that the commitment of volunteerism to this organization is as significant as anything I've seen, and I've been involved with a lot of different organizations throughout the valley. So the hab so the volunteers that come, and so there'll be, over the next 18 months, somewhere in the vicinity of 300 volunteers that will be involved in this process, including John Heaps, president <laughs> of the bank, <laughs> and his future, see John, you're committed now. <laughs> it's, it's on video. <laughs> so just wanted to reinforce that, all right. <laughs> That's right, so I'll come with you that day, all right? And, um, but that, that effort, that volunteerism, so while this investment supports two families, the volunteerism that permeates the community. Actually, when you lift a family through Habitat, you literally lift the entire community. And I want to just say thanks for to all the volunteers. Um, Charlie and Walt, you guys are great, great, wonderful guys, and so you're wonderful to work with. And so without further ado, Dave Zomack. Oh, you, I'm sorry. Amy and Landry. <laughs> Before Dave uh, comes up, I did. you all heard John say that he would be here with John. So I believe we need to seal this deal as well. Please welcome Interim Town Manager Dave Zomack. And would you like your t-shirt now? I have a t-shirt. <laughs> what, what's the date? Uh, Do we have a date? We'll have to schedule the date for the okay. three of you to come. Let me together. get out. We'll okay, sure. let's put the date in here. All right. When, um, when the, when the so snow stops flying. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here representing the town of Amherst this morning. Um, it is just great to have this wonderful partner in, in uh, Florence Bank and, of course, working side by side with, with Habitat. Um, 
This is a special one for me because uh, the land that we're standing on um, uh, was something that I worked very hard uh, to acquire for the town. And, and I'll say a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, so it's, it's really special to be out here this morning and seeing this project move forward. Um, I was at an event earlier this morning with some of you at the chamber uh, breakfast and I talked about the energy and the enthusiasm that people have for projects throughout Amherst. And this is one of them, and, and affordable housing, housing for all uh, people in Amherst is, is one of our biggest priorities. I'm joined here this morning, and I think it's representative of the commitment to affordable housing by the chair of our select board, Alyssa Brewer, and another member of our select board, Connie Kruger, who's been working for affordable housing for more than 25 years in the Commonwealth and, and in Amherst in, in particular. <laughs> and so it's that kind of, that kind of uh, uh, partnership, that kind of commitment that uh, Amherst is, is, is all about. A couple of other shout outs before I talk about the, the property for a minute. Peter Jessup, I've been working with Peter for probably about 10 years on the CPA committee. He formerly chaired the CPA committee. He's still on it. We never want him to leave. Um, but Peter has been, I've been to so many meetings with him. I know he wears multiple hats with Habitat, but he has been such an important voice for affordable housing on the CPA committee and in town meetings. So I think we ought to give Peter a little a clap for yourself. Anyway. You get a shirt. I know he knows how to use a hammer. Um, and then just rounding that out a bit, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention two staff members who are here right now. Chris Prestrup is our interim planning director. And Chris, I know, has worked on so many different projects in, in town. She is uh, so knowledgeable, so skilled, and um, we're just happy to have her on board uh, in a relatively new role for the town. And I'm sure that she will be working with Megan and staff as we look at other sites throughout town. So Chris is here. And I want to call out Nate Malloy. Nate has been on this project by my side for five, six years. When did we acquire this, Nate? I, I can't remember. But he was eight. <laughs> but Nate has been working on this site, on the plans for the site, on the plans for the land with Habitat staff. And the town is very well represented having Nate, senior planner, uh, on the Um, uh, Megan mentioned earlier that uh, I had the pleasure of actually sitting with the Hawthorne some six, seven years ago in their living room, which was right here in the old farmhouse, uh, with my dad, who's now 91. And it was really part of my dad's vision that this land should become uh, part of the town uh, uh, portfolio of land for a number of reasons. And I'm just so excited, so happy to be here because early on we thought this land, uh, I'm not sure everybody's familiar, but the land actually goes east and that lovely field to the east on the knoll is part of what we call the, the, the Hawthorne uh, Farm property owned by the town of Amherst. And it goes all the way over to our land that is part of the Wildwood School. So the vision here is for active recreation to some someday take place on that field connected to Wildwood School and the middle school. There'll be a lovely um, community trail that can be uh, used by neighbors, by residents, and of course by the, the, the folks who are going to live in these two units. And then, you know, why we're here today, these wonderful affordable uh, homes for people to join our community. So all the pieces are beginning to come, come into place and uh, it's just so special to be here. So um, congratulations, and I'll see you in March. Right. Thank We're you. Do it without you. I think we're gonna have a, a quick ground breaking over in this area. If I could ask all the speakers to come over to the sign, and Monica Curran from Florence Bank, please join us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Monica and I will uh, 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 pull things down here.